Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Total Maintenance YouTube channel. Today I have in the shop this 2007 Tundra. She's lifted, she's a tank. She has only 125,000 miles on the odometer. She has some impressive wheels. Can you imagine how this is heavy? You can. And there is some impressive, huge lift on this vehicle. That's why she looks like a tank when she arrives to my shop. She's on the street. And the owner is fine tuning this whole lift. So it was lifted a while ago, but he is like you guys. He reads all these forums where people get together and they recommend themselves and each other, that's what I meant to say, they recommend each other from their experience, the aftermarket products. And today in this video, I want to show you here this tie rod ends. This is the part from a coach builder. Can you read it? I'm not sure. Maybe we will have to figure out different lighting. So it's a coach builder part. And I want to show you how it's adjustable. It's greased underneath this a rubber. That's a rubber cover for that ball joint, which is hidden there. This is not the adjustment. They are warning about it because the vehicle will have to go on the alignment. It will be still adjusted right here. But I just want to show you what people can purchase for their babies. This is opportunity. I just replaced that one side. Look at how beefy this is. This is crazy. I don't do generally these things. I'm not expert on it. I'm just showing you. This is the previous one, the OEM part, which I have removed on the other side. And this is just a very short video. If somebody ever is installing these, they can see the details. So typical standard Toyota part as we know it of course this has to go for alignment after it will be installed why well because the parts are not absolutely identical despite the fact i keep this nut in the same position and i will check the alignment of the rotors towards to the rear wheels i will eye it with my laser eye it doesn't matter if you want to do it professionally, you have to give it to my neighbor behind this wall. They have a huge alignment machine, so the owner knows about it. He agreed on it. And when I'm done here with this and the automatic transmission fluid flush, it will be coming on the other side for alignment. So now you know how this looks. It's a super heavy duty. Now the kit, just to be absolutely thorough, the kit came with two page instructions. There is all info and so on. And also they give you this drill bit. The bolt, that ginormous bolt was not fitting here. It need very tiny uh, drilling with this drill bit which is supplied and after that it will fit and it can be installed so hopefully I didn't forget anything and if you have interest in that coach builder parts or aftermarket stuff for your Tundra that hopefully gives you little video you can see the details how it's beefy this is crazy right this is absolutely incredible i think the owner said it will be better for cornering or something like that i guess the design of the ball joint is a little bit better than the other one so again here is the original as you can see it's a little bit lower but yeah this is what I have for you from my shop today. Very short video. 
You probably want to see some side-by-side -side comparison. So this is how it looks next to each other. I mean, there is still the part, so in the same level. That's a one angle of view. Maybe a different angle from here or this way. Yeah, that's probably comparable. So this is how was the old one. And this is the new one by itself. I definitely would love to know if it will improve the handling. But apparently it does. And when I will be done with this truck, I will keep myself busy with rebuilding these Foreigners and Tacomas lower control arms. As you can see, I am opening the factory for rebuilds. There is not a good way or a good tool how to get the old ones, old bushings which fail, the rubber fails. And see the cracks and everything here. It's not easy way or good way how to get it out. They are always stuck and rusted in. And if you look on the design, it says letter C. That doesn't let you to use any hydraulic presses. There's no device which somebody smartly developed to do that. This one is out. Uh, this one is still in. I already figured out what will be the most effective way. I will finish this one today and then I will make video for you with the final results. How to deal with these bushings. Here you can see one which is finished and is rebuilt. You can nicely see its original Toyota part. You can see that L right here, so it's a driver's side. L, the bumpers front and rear and the brand new bushings. And it took me a while. I really used every single tool I own to figure out how to do it efficiently because these are notorious for being rusted in and if you talk to the shops then again the shop behind the wall they said hey we gave up on it we just buy the new part many times we got stuck and it will not come out you destroy it this way and it's still there and you are sweating, cussing and can't get it out. I tried everything, even this method to using the jack and press it out, but the clamp is not strong enough and you will start spreading it, you will bend it. So don't try that. Forget about this, definitely. And I guess these were two videos in one. Originally I was just going film this aftermarket replacement. This is the original. There was nothing wrong with it. Still very tight. I can barely move that ball joint inside. But the owner wants to have an improvement. And this is what you guys do. You guys with uh, lifted trucks, you just tinker with them, I know that. So, yeah, I hope some of you will find this video helpful or interesting. Let me just read where you get that, yeah, that improved part. It's a shopcoachbuilder.com. It's from that company. A little bit confusing. It's a Utah. They are from Salt Lake City, Utah. Shop Coach Builder. So they are selling these great improvement aftermarket parts for Toyotas and probably 
uh, different makes too. This was a steering kit BDS Pro Comp price. It's not here, so I cannot tell you how much it is, but that's all I will share. Thank you for watching and have a great day, my friend.